Bunch of Crunch Army. Yo, where are you at? Your motivation guy. Come on now. You know I'm back. It's your friend, the one and only, Keith Allen. Back at it again. I'm never stopping. We grinding every single day to get better at this game. Hope you guys are in it with me. Listen, man, I'm here to bring you guys the latest and greatest tips and tricks to make you the best Fortnite player in the world. So, you know, for many of you guys out there, summer break is quickly approaching. This means you're going to have more time than ever to hone in on your skills and take your gameplay to the next level, man. You know, even though you're going to have plenty of free time, you need to make sure that you're using your time wisely or else <laughs> all the hours you put in could end up meaning nothing. So today, we're going to be showing you guys everything that you need to know to improve quickly and go pro over your summer break. You guys ready for this? Well, it's time for our tradition. It's time to sit back, relax, and get some of my favorite candy. You better say aloud. What is that? It's that bunch of crunch. Yo, let's get this going. So, before we jump into the best ways to improve your skills while playing a game, we need to talk about, like, what you need to do, you know, if you're not in the game. You know, just because that you're on a break from school and have just much more free time than usual, it just doesn't mean that you should just spend every moment of the day playing Fortnite. You know, many people out there think that the more they play the game, the more they're going to improve. Uh... I mean, it's kind of true, but at a certain point, playing the game for too long can actually have a negative effect, if you know what I mean. Like for most players, you know, any additional time past seven or eight hours on the game can actually work against you. There's only so much more that you can play per day before the practice that you're putting in becomes useless. You know, you're gonna become mentally drained and you're not gonna be physically able to play at the best of your ability. You know, there's a reason that those in professional sport leagues aren't on the field for six plus hours, you know, every day. Like they know that at a certain point, they're just gonna be causing them harm to their bodies and actually making it harder for them to improve. The same can be said with Fortnite. You know, obviously you're not going to become physically worn out from just sitting in a chair all day, but just spending too much time on the game, I mean, it could get you mentally worn out pretty quickly and just demotivate you from even just trying to hop on the game tomorrow. You know, it's just best to really space out your practice and just not go too hard all the time. And so with that being said, guys, you need to be utilizing the extra free time on your hands wisely. Like you need to start making sure that you're getting enough sleep. Yeah, I know, it's not like your parent, but it's the truth. <laughs> you may not think that sleep is going to have, you know, a big effect on your performance, but I'm telling you right now, it does. Your body needs a good night's sleep to perform at your best physically and mentally. And obviously, you're not going to want to just sleep the day away, but, you know, you just definitely want to avoid up staying too late, which I know a lot of you guys do every single night. That's why you fall asleep playing the game. Aside from getting enough sleep, like you want to make sure that you're getting some form of physical activity in every day as well. Like you'd be surprised how much better you're going to feel throughout the day after you get some exercise. You know, it's definitely going to help you stay physically fit uh, throughout the summertime. I try to work out every single day. Definitely a new habit that I've definitely worked out. Um, recently so definitely just helps you be in a better mental place if you don't believe us try it out for yourself and just see how much better you're gonna feel when you play after working out you definitely won't regret it all right, so another great way to improve quickly over your summer break is to find a group of friends to really grind with. You know, we've talked about this briefly in a recent video, but we need to make sure that everybody's on the same page. Your summer playing experience is going to be much better if you manage to find a group of people who share similar goals with you that you can play with every day, especially with the state of that Fortnite's in right now, but you can just get bored very quickly if you're just playing by yourself. So having a group of friends that you can rely on to play with is gonna keep you motivated to keep grinding and become the best player you could possibly be. You know, not to mention that when a group of individuals share a similar goal, I mean, it just creates a competitive environment that really encourages everybody to really do their best. And so with these players, you can play creative in arenas, scrims, you name it. And you can also help each other uh, by just going over strategies that you guys find useful, you know, review your gameplay together. And it's just always great to really get a third party opinion on your gameplay just to see like where you can improve. And just a lot of the time, like sometimes you just don't notice the things that you can do better. Speaking of reviewing your gameplay, all right, make sure to head on over to ProGuys.com. We've got an army of pro coaches ready and waiting to teach you everything that you need to know about Fortnite so you can improve super fast. All right, so for those of you who have been subscribed to our channel for a while, first of all, thank you. Uh, if you're not, what are you waiting for? You need to do that like right now. Uh, but you're gonna know how much emphasis that we put on practicing and creative. You know, it's just really the most efficient way to improve your skills and become a better fighter. Like since you're going to have so much free time over the summer, this is the perfect time to put in those extra hours in creative and improve your skills as a fighter. And we all know that fighting is one of, if not the biggest skill gaps in competitive Fortnite. So, you know, using the time that you have all from school to really level up up as a fighter is honestly one of your best chances to go pro. Like if you take our advice and just find a group of friends to really play with on your time off, you're gonna be able to get tons of fighting experience against players near your similar skill level. Playing things like 1v1, 
build fight, uh, team zone wars. It's just a great way to really get your mechanics up and really close the gap from you and the pros. So if you initially struggle to find a group to really play with, I mean, you can always head on into creative as a solo and just work on things that you need to improve on. You know, the modes that we mentioned is also gonna have a fill queue where, you know, you can just fight against random opponents as well. So there's just really no excuses, man, to be made for not putting in the time to improve your creative. You know, whenever a season ends, the next season almost always has a significant change in the meta. So if you could just sit down, learn the new meta, you know, you're gonna just have a much better chance of being successful in the upcoming competitive events. All right, this means that right when the new season launches, you should dive right in and just test out the new loophole items, drop spots, and overall, just get familiar with everything that has changed. You know, the sooner that you learn what works best in the meta, the further that you're gonna separate yourself from everybody else. By now, when the new season launches, we can all expect a two-week preseason phase where arena points were not going to be reset along with the quick fixes and weapon tweaking also taking place. So you're going to want to use this time to really learn the meta so you're prepared for an easy grind of champs once your points have been reset. All right, bunch of great time. It's time for the question of the day. Speaking of new seasons, all right, what would you say your favorite Fortnite season is of all time? Let us know down in the comments below. All right, so we mentioned previously that focusing tons of time into creative is a great way to improve your fighting skills and increase your chances of going pro. That's true, but it won't necessarily improve your competitive IQ. To improve solely as a competitive player, you need to be putting time into scrims and tournaments as well. You know, we don't know if many of you guys are gonna remember this, but all the way back in November 2021, when Fortnite was making some announcements for the 2022 competitive year, they mentioned that they would be running back daily cups in the third quarter of the competitive year. This third quarter happens to fall right around the summer. So we can actually expect some daily cups to be available for us in the near future. Daily cups are just a great way to load up on competitive experience in a short amount of time since every day is going to offer a new chance to fix your mistakes and just try out new teammates. Not to mention that depending on the prize pools, like there could be lots of PR points at stake as well. So this is just great for those of you who are just looking to further build your resume so you can find teammates around your same skill level. All right, aside from the potential daily cups, you should be really playing uh, every tournament available if you guys want to improve, right? Like, like, there won't be an FNCS during the summer, but we can expect other events like Cash Cups and maybe a Dream Hack to really fill up the Compete tab. So you want to play every tournament you get the chance for. Like, the more experience you have under the belt, the more confidence you're going to have for the bigger tournaments that come around. You know, competitive play these days isn't tied down into just in-game events anymore either. Like, there are tons of third-party tournaments taking place through Discord, using third-party clients to track progress. Sure, I mean, these may not have the best prize pools, I get it, but I mean, they still are a great practice. Like, you can think of these like scrims with the prize pool. You know, normal scrims have pretty much died out in the pro scenes, so you can just expect the big tier, you know, one pros to be playing alongside you in a lot of these events. But you guys saw me, man. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Once again, man, it is your guy, the one and only Keith Allen. Make sure to connect with me on my Instagram at your motivation guy. I'm here to motivate you. That's right, you. I want you to be best. I want you to be the best that you can be, not only in this game, but also in life. And that's the truth. So, you know, I hope all is well with you guys. Keep your head up. Don't let obstacles, challenges, disappointments keep your head down. Keep your head up at all times. Walk in positivity, man. Have vision for your purpose. You got so much in store for you, man. So just keep going. Uh, also, just leave a like and just tell us, you know, you know, if there's anything that you guys would be interested in learning more about, you know, whether your summer break is just quickly approaching or maybe it's already started, you know, pro hopefully this video is just, you know, helping you guys out to use the best time that you can do um, during this break. So keep doing it, man. Narrow the gap between you and the pro, man, that's out there that you look up to. You can do it. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.